Hey y'all. So that sweet baby who spent time here yesterday, we found her mama. I know Stella, Stella's sad. Stella really liked her, like a lot really liked her. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, love? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You miss your new friend? Yeah, I know. It's kind of incredible because our dogs really know when a dog is like in need. And we have the, I, we have seven. And we have this incredible pack that for the most part is very welcoming. They, they will quickly put that dog in the correct order and let them know. And it's not, it's not immediately on the bottom. I know, baby. I know. You're so sad because you miss her. I get it. But they do so good with the rescue situation. And this one wasn't even a rescue. This one was like an arrival. And they, that baby must have known. That baby must have known like that it was a safe space. I don't have another explanation as to why a dog, a strange dog, would show up at prom with the big old party going on. And loud noises and scents of other dogs. But now Stella's sad that she's not here. And I'll be honest with you, so are we. She was an incredible dog. But she had a mama and a family who was looking for her. Not too far from here. Uh, so I looked at all of the community pages around here and finally found, finally found someone who had been looking for her. She wandered off and the GPS, um, are you so tired? That made you tired? the GPS tracker on her collar apparently wasn't synced in signal. And we have some GPS collars that sometimes do that out here too. So it's kind of hard because if you don't have a cell signal for them to bounce off of, they don't connect. And, and if they lose that signal, it may, if you don't have the right way to reset that, it can't connect to the right way and you can't track. So they're not perfect by any means, but it's just so sweet that that dog found her way here up the driveway with all those people in here. And as I'm going back and looking at prior video, I actually see her behind in Lester's video with the DJ. And it that blew my mind because I didn't see her at that point around here, but we were so busy doing all the things that no one noticed. There's my sidekick. No one noticed her. So as much as I wanted her to stay, as much as I wanted to call her Carrie, she went to a new, well, she didn't go to a new, she went back home because this isn't her new home, sadly. She went back home late last evening and um, we did tell the owner like, hey, if something ever doesn't work out or if we ever see her again, we'll keep your number um, because it's it wasn't on this street. It's actually a couple miles down the road. So she had a, she had a journey to get here. Um, it's just so wild because we're not right along the highway, the road, like, kind of blows my mind. Either way, we were blessed to have made her acquaintance. And we're back to normal here at Longhorn Lester's today. Things got cleaned up out here. We have to put the furniture back out and, you know, life is back to normal. Hi, Ritzy girl. How are you feeling? How are you doing, baby? Can I tell them how you feel? She's over the kennel cough. So that's good. But this cold weather that came in today has her joints a bit achy. It'll be okay, baby. It'll be okay. Yeah. So she's just sticking close to home. <laughs> but overall, she's doing very well compared to the last time you saw her in a video. So yeah, after prom, after prom did not stop all the things that needed to happen here. Life still kept going and that sweet baby girl has found her way back home. And I am sure, ooh, that was a big old spider. Hold on a second.